This question had came to us from one of our listeners, Curly Man, 17 who wants to know, what's my take on Alexander Rousseff? Will he be successful on the main WWE roster, or will he end up like Ryback? Very good question, Curly Man. Thanks for that. What can I say about Alexander Rousseff? I'm still relatively new to NXT, as I've only been checking it out past several weeks now. I've seen enough of his matches so far with Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, and a few others. Honestly, I've been loving how he's been utilized there. He seems like a juggernaut, and it's a nice throwback to wrestlers of old as far as in-ring ability and physique, as he kind of reminds me of a Bruno San Martino, Pedro Morales, Ivan Koloff, just to name a few. It's obvious that those in WWE management like him. So much so, he was given a spot in this year's WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view event to make his official main roster debut. We've also got these vignettes running around of him as eventually he's going to be seen weekly on Raw, SmackDown, main event. This really reminds me of Vladimir Kozlov and Great Khali, and I'm not saying that in a good way. I think you guys see where I'm going with this. You know, when I think about those two guys, they had the same type of great vignettes going on, a lot of hype. Weeks later, they finally come to the scene and it just got ice cold real quick. Eventually, we saw both of these men get involved in comedy segments that were just really god fucking awful. But I will admit, the team of Santino Vladimir, that was actually a nice tag team i really had enjoyed that see here's the problem with a guy like alexander rousseff despite being a nice throwback type of a wrestler that alone won't be enough to get him over full time in the wwe he's a wrestler i think that is in the wrong era of wrestling can you just imagine how this guy would have done around the 60s and 70s Most likely he would have been explosive and done extremely well. He probably would have held the WWF title for a good minute. Maybe not as long as Bruno or Pedro, but he'd have had it for a good while. In today's era, I don't like saying this, but I don't think he'd be successful as a face or a heel. We're really talking about that era of a wrestler, folks. In today's era... You just look at how it is. You got to have the whole combination. You got to have one of those extravagant, flaming characters. One of those personas that just really connects well with the audience. In-ring ability, he's got it. Everybody kind of has the same look and the same style for the most part. When you think about all the guys that's in there in the NXT promotion. And when you look at a guy like Alexander Rousseff in NXT... Of course, he's really going to stand out. But take Alexander Rousseff out of that element for a minute and put him up to those that don't quite match him as far as putting him up on the main WWE roster. He's going to look out of place. I think in the NXT environment, it works really well for him. Him being up on main WWE programming Not so much. I mean, it's going to be very, very limited the number of people that he's going to be able to work with. Maybe he could do something with Kane. Maybe he could do something with Big Show, Mm, Biggie Langston, possibly uh, Brock Lesnar. It's a long shot, but possibly Brock Lesnar, maybe Dave Bautista. I could see him working with all of those guys. Uh, Maybe he could work with John Cena. Uh, maybe he could work with Dolph Ziggler, you know, but he has such a short list of people that he's going to be able to work with. And see, here's the thing. This guy isn't that tall. He's only six feet. He's like an inch shorter than HBK Shawn Michaels. Now, of course, the big difference between him and Shawn Michaels, as I want to make sure we're not really comparing as far as the characters go, because I'm only talking about the height here, okay? But Shawn Michaels, he was considered to be a short guy, and as a result of being a short guy, a lot of people thought he wasn't going to be able to go over in the WWE. A lot of people told him he wasn't going to be the man. But because of the type of charisma that he had, the type of connection that he had with the WWE fans, he was able to get over. That's why he is where he is right now in his career. 
But with a guy like Alexander Rousseff, he's going to have to do a lot more. Could you just imagine if a guy like Alexander Rousseff would have came through the ECW promotion with Paul Heyman? Paul Heyman probably would have had a great field day with this guy. I can't help but think about Taz. Remember all the vignettes that was coming about of Taz? Taz was coming to the WWE. Remember how excited everybody was? And then when we finally see him come to the WWE, here's this really short guy. And you're like, damn, didn't realize he was so short. And just to see Triple H just bury him the way that he did. Taz was just really never the same uh, after that coming out in his guy. What was that? Looked like looked like Duke the Dumpster uh, Brody clothes or whatever. But, you know, no, no disrespect to Taz. But, you know, Alexander Rousseff, I think it's going to go ice cold really quick. I think they're going to have this guy come up the main WWE roster. He's going to be squashing created wrestlers, as I like to call them. He's going to be squashing local wrestlers. In those cities that they're going to be in. That's going to be playing out for a couple of weeks. They're going to go the same Ryback route. And then eventually they're going to feed him to the upper guys. And honestly, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And it's quite unfortunate. Because I think he is a really nice throwback of a wrestler. But without that charisma, I don't really think he's going to last that well in the wwe now one thing that he has going on for him right now he's got that hot little blonde haired manager always running around talking about some you know um he's got all that going on but i don't really think that's going to be enough uh unfortunately but hey i hope i'm wrong i really hope i'm wrong because seeing him wrestle i I love watching him he's a great highlight for me when i get to check him out on nxt Uh, what's your thoughts on alexander rusev you can let me know by sending a tweet hit us up on facebook we'll actually have this section that we just got done talking about be up on our youtube channel for all of you all to comment on so check that out curly man thank you for that question If you have a question like Curly Man that you would like us to go in depth about, hit us up. Once again, Twitter at the RCWR Show. Email us, infinity1productions at Gmail. Or uh, send us a private message on YouTube. And if the question's on point, man, we'll definitely make it be a RCWR Show spotlight for you guys and get you all's overall take on it. 